and welcome to my kitchen and another edition of chat and channel update it has been two weeks since our last chat and it's time to come to the kitchen table once again and catch you up on everything that's going on in our kitchen and in our lives and um, let's see it's been two weeks since our last update and it's been uh, a trusty two weeks or a trying two weeks. it's been an interesting two weeks let's say the least in the last three or four days it's been the worst um, Back to school started last Monday. Girls went back to school August 4th. Both my girls um, participate in an early college program through the state. They don't go to a regular mainstream high school. They actually attend high school at the community college. And they're, they're working on their high school degree and an associate's degree at the same time. So Micah started her freshman year. Molly started her junior year. And inside the first week, we already had a project that had to be done and lots and lots of homework. So it's going to be an interesting, fun year, and we'll all get through it, I'm sure. Um, is it summer vacation yet? Is it Christmas yet? I don't know. Um, we, we just wrapped up our giveaway that we had on the, the ball sipper straw tops and the infusers that um, Jargon Corporation was so generous to uh, send our way so I could share them. Uh, the winners have been notified, and they are Two Big Dogs Girl and Brenda here. So if you guys would please forward to me your addresses so that I can send these out to you sometime this week. I know that you're going to love them if you're anything like us. We always have a ton of canning jars hanging around, so these are perfect to put the top on and drink out of. Um, Another really exciting thing, we're not going to have another giveaway now until I reach my 50,000 subscriber goal. We're very, very close. We're less than 300 away as of today. Uh, and once I hit 50,000, we're going to have another giveaway. And that giveaway is going to be sponsored by Tarani. I was able to contact them and their social media manager got back with me. And they have provided some uh, lovely things for me to share with you. We're going to have a giveaway. We're going to have a different type of uh, parameters that you're going to have to follow to do that. So that'll be exciting. Once that happens, we will announce that giveaway, and you're going to be excited to see what we're giving you. So I cannot thank you enough. It, if it were not for you, we wouldn't be here doing this. And 50000 is a stellar goal. It really is an amazing milestone for us as a YouTube channel. Um, <clears throat> something I never ever thought I would see you know and we're gonna make this goal in just a few days actually and then we're gonna move on and we're gonna set our sights on a hundred thousand and then a million and who knows where we go from there so um, I may not be as um, you know I don't have a kitchen studio and I don't have the best camera equipment and I don't have the best editing skills but you know what we do have we love to share and uh, I may be a work. mess what we make it work we make it work we're real we're just like you guys and we struggle sometimes sometimes we have money problems sometimes you know um, we have the same problems that you have and that is the one thing that's always been really important to me is that I always want to be very clear that we're just like you you guys we're we're no different you know we get up in the morning and you know we get out of bed and we think how are we gonna get through this day sometimes and but we we do it and Rick and I do it oh. together I couldn't do it without him but you know what I'm, I'm getting at really is is that we have a desire to share because we know that life is hard enough and sometimes people just need a little help and even if that help is just showing them how they can do something a little easier, giving them a different idea for dinner. You know, there are a lot of people I get email from all the time who thank me and tell me that I'm an inspiration to them. And, you know, sometimes that's really difficult for me because I don't feel like I'm inspirational and I don't feel like I'm amazing. And I have people tell me that all the time, so I've always been really bad at taking compliments and um, I, even worse at taking criticism. Um, constructive criticism, I, I get and I accept, but nastiness I, I've never been good at and I have a really bad acid tongue and sometimes it gets the better of me, even in comment section. So, 
you know, uh, I come to you flaws and all, and you've accepted me, and I can't thank you enough. Um, we're just like everybody else, so I, I thank you so much, and I can't wait to see what happens next. So, um, let's see. Oh, I know. Last time we chatted, I mentioned that I had the opportunity to try another recipe box service, and I asked you guys what you thought. You said you thought I should go ahead and do it, and I did. And I got that box. It's from a company called HelloFresh, and I received the box earlier this week, and yesterday we made um, all three meals for supper, and I can't wait to share the video with you. We're going to do the video a little bit differently. When we did the Blue Apron review, we did everything separately. We did the unboxing separately. We did each dish separately. We did a review, um, an overview separately. So it ended up being uh, five whole videos. This time I'm only going to do one video from the unboxing to the review. But I have to tell you, this one I was super impressed with. And just to give you a, a little sneak peek into my, my kind of thoughts on the whole thing, we really enjoyed all the food. All the three meals that were supposed to feed two people, we actually had leftovers with all four of us eating it. And it was delicious. And the ingredients were really nice. And I was frankly really impressed because not and when they said that each meal takes less than 30 minutes to prepare, they really meant it. I made all three in an hour. And I was really impressed. So I can't wait to share with you the uh, the hello fresh overview and all of that so you'll see that sometime this week um, if you have any suggestions or ideas of holiday recipes or treats that you'd like to see me make please leave them in the comment section below and if I feel like it's something we can tackle we'll go ahead and put it on the list and if it's something I've never heard of I'll look into it and we'll go from there so make sure you leave the information down below and let me know what you think. If there's something that you'd like to see me do. I have my notes here, so that's what I'm looking down at. Um, let's see. I talked about that. Oh, this week, uh, the last couple of weeks, we've been sharing uh, homemade garden sprays that you can make from things you have in your kitchen. And then we talked about baking soda this past week. This coming week, I'm going to talk about how to save tomato seeds through the fermentation process. And that's going to go up. And um, it, it's going to be fun because you might not realize that you need to do this to get your tomato seeds just right so that they're safe from mold over the winter. Um, so we're going to do that on Tuesday. And Rick, the last couple of weeks we did how to keep your laptop cool and happy. And that was kind of a redo because we're putting everything back on Rick's channel. So if you see something that you think you've seen before, it's because we're remaking them for his channel specifically so that everything is in one place. And we might have them a little bit updated from what they were when they were on Noreen's Kitchen. They're still going to stay on Noreen's Kitchen where they were, but we're going to update them and redo them so Rick's channel can get all swanky. Um, this week, let's see, we also, what did we do just this week? Oh, we did the tile into a trivet. That's cool because that's a great holiday gift idea. And this coming week, let me tell you what happened. Mm -hmm. See, what happened was mm -hmm. we opened the refrigerator one morning, and Friday. guess what? It was Friday, Friday. morning, right? Everything, it happens, was, everything Friday. happens on a Friday. Everything. The washer breaks on a Friday. The refrigerator breaks on a Friday. Here. Oh, yeah. The heater breaks in the coldest part of the winter on a Friday. Always on a Friday. I don't know what it is. Universe has mm -hmm. a little bit of fun with me, uh, with us. So we come out, uh, why is the milk sour? Uh, why is the refrigerator not cold? Is this freezer thawing out? What's going on? Okay, this is the problem. So we did a little investigation and Rick was able to fix it without calling a repairman and without having to buy a new refrigerator. And this is what we're going to uh, share with you this coming week on Rick's Tips. DIY channel because uh, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> it was a DIY. <laughs> it was a DIY and before I could even say anything he had the camera out and the refrigerator door open ready to make a video. So we are taking you through the whole process of what was what took place as far as figuring out what was wrong with the refrigerator for this particular instance. So 
you'll want to make sure that you watch that one. So in order to do that, you better go over to Rick's Tips DIY channel. The link is below and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you're not subscribed to Noreen's Garden, please go over there and do that. If you're interested in learning about how I do stuff in my garden, because I cover a lot of different things, you know, even if you don't have a garden or maybe you want a garden someday or maybe you don't even know, but um, you know, maybe if you want to grow things in pots on your patio, if you live in an apartment, you can do that. Mm -hmm. And, and I can help you learn how to do that the best way, in my opinion. So, um, okay, I've gotten a few requests lately from people asking me to email them recipes, and I don't do that. I, if, I am, apologize that I am one person and I get so many emails in the course of a day that I can't possibly sit down and personally email everybody everything they're asking for. If you go to my website, you can find the recipe index. It's in the navigation bar, and it, I broke it down for you A to Z. You just click on that. It gives you A through Z. You can click on what you think the recipe starts with. I have a lot of things that are cross-referenced, so if people click on one thing and maybe it's so they think it should start with one thing and it doesn't, but I have made sure that I put it in that alphabetized listing anyway. But I've gotten a lot, I, I think I got three or four this week asking me to email them the recipes for, um, pardon me, the um, some of my cocoa mixes. And uh, I don't have those recipes posted anywhere because those recipes are available in my cookbook, Cocos, Cookies, Galore, and more. And you can get those. The links are down below. They're also on my website. Um, the web page has a clickable link uh, in the sidebar. There's a little box that says Noreen's Kitchen Cookbooks. It's kind of toward the bottom of the page. You can click on that. It'll take you directly to lulu.com where you can get either my ho holiday helper or my co Cocos and Cookies cookbook. Um, you can choose from a spiral bound version or an ebook, and the ebook is for you know using on your e-reader or your smartphone or on your computer. So those are both of the configurations I have available. This is the Noreen's Kitchen Holiday Helper. This is the up uh, the updated cover. I have it now come with a spiral binding and um, it's just that's that's it right there. Um, this has 80 different recipes in it and I think this one also has a similar number. And this I think may have less. But um, this has all sorts of treats and cookies and every single hot cocoa mix that I have ever done on my YouTube channel is in here along with several others that I have never shared. So those are available. They are reasonably priced. You can go to lulu.com. The link is down below and you can get yourself a copy for yourself and then you don't ever have to you know, go on YouTube and write it down if you don't want to. I mean, of course, for most of my videos, I do give the measurements, but there are several recipes in this book that I have never shared in video form. So, um, let me think. Uh, I love having you here. I'm so glad you joined me. I hope that this was fun to catch up. It was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!